So I want to give you a couple of things here. And, and Josh, we're going to have to cut this out so we can share it over and over again. I had a call over the weekend from somebody that's going up, up with our private client with the uh, mortgage division that we're working on, the, the branch that I lead. And their question came up is they're looking at a, a signing their, their um, loan docs. And they wanted their loan to start, and, and this was uh, this conversation took place on Saturday. I think Saturday was the first of July, and they wanted to know about starting having their first home loan payment September first. So let's. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. What does that do? What does that mean? And how does that affect you? So mortgage payments are always paid after the interest is accrued. What does that mean? So when you make a mortgage payment on August 1st, that's for your interest for the month of July. When you make your mortgage payment on September 1st, that's for the August interest. When you pay rent, you pay rent in advance. When you pay mortgage interest, it's in arrears is what that's called. There is no free lunch. The day that your loan gets funded is the day that the interest starts. Doesn't matter when your first payment is. So in this case, they say, well, we don't want our first payment until September 1st. But okay, do you understand what that means? That means that the institution, whoever it is, is going to collect all of July's interest and then they're going to collect all that in advance. So that's going to increase your cash to close. Then on September 1st, you're paying August interest. Now, if this individual had said, okay, well, we would like to have our first payment August 1st, well, that gives them another month to collect, to save up to make that interest payment because you know that your payments are very, very heavily weighted at the in onset they're very heavily weighted in interest. There's just a few dollars goes toward the principal at the very beginning of your mortgage. That's why it takes 20 years to pay half of the principal on a 30-year mortgage if you're not making any extra payments, so roughly 20 years. So the bottom line here is when this individual says, we don't want our payment to start until September 1st, you have to ask, okay, do you understand what that means? Why do you want that to happen? And their comment was, is, well, I make good money. I just don't have a lot of cash right now. I said, okay, well, then if you make good money, you're better off having an August 1st start date because then you have another month to collect your money to save money from your income if you say that you don't have, a, if you're, you're cash poor because you're making your down payment, you're making all your other closing costs. So just throw that out there for you. Anytime you close your loan, the closer you close a home loan to the end of the month, the smaller your cash to close will be. If you close on the first, second, third of the month and you're collecting that interest for that entire month up front and then your payment isn't due until the following. So in this case, if they were to close on July 5th today, their first payment, if it was on September 1, they're paying 26 days worth of interest at closing immediately up front because there's not going to be a payment until September. So just understand how that works. Give you a little bit. I think, Josh, we can put that under Mortgage 101 right there on, on how to time your closing date. The other thing I'm going to show you or share with you doesn't make any sense to me, but I understand the rules. The uh, paying of that interest up front goes into your APR, so your your annual percentage rate. So if you're paying more interest into your into the up front, so if you're closing, say on the tenth of the month, and you have twenty days worth of interest, your APR is going to be higher. Does that make any sense? No, because APR is the cost to close a loan plus the prepaid interest. So if you close on the thirtieth of the month. Your APR is actually going to be lower because you're only going to have zero or one day of interest to pay in that portion. So just give you a little mortgage 101 right there on making that payment uh, on, on when you want your first payment to be. 
just throw that out there, give you a little bit of heads, head, uh, insight as to the way some of these things go.